As industry ramps up its production targets to meet accelerating demand, our anxiety grows over the deepening impact of its effects on our environment. As a major catalyst in global warming and climate change, pollution is coming under tighter legislation. But real solutions don't come from legislation. They come from developing cleaner energy sources. And from something else, something we've been hearing a lot about but not seeing much of, something called clean tech. An industrial process that requires few resources, fewer raw materials, minimal energy, and with no environmental impact whatsoever. Sounds too good to be true, doesn't it? Well, it isn't. It's here, and you're looking at it. You're looking at a process that might just herald the dawn of a new industrial revolution, the ion revolution. Adionim have created an industrial-scale coating process that's applicable to almost any substrate, including glass, metal, silver, ceramics, and precious stones. This technology, called PVD, is hardly new, so we asked Adionim's chairman and CEO, Jacob Zaharia, to tell us more about his company's breakthrough. You're calling this the ion revolution. Is it really a revolution? This is a revolution, a real revolution. Just like nuclear reactors gave us neutrons and accelerators gave us electrons, the use of ions represents the next coming revolution. The magic happens here in the multidisciplinary, multi-process and single chamber applications generator, or MDMPSC for short. Now, what exactly goes on in there? We put that question to Adionim's chief scientist. Ion technology is a way that you can coat materials and change the properties with a very thin layer. They wish the ions, which are essentially atoms, to cover the, the particle that we want to plate. And uh, that's why we call it ion technology. Why do you call this process multidisciplinary? The ion technology is not a single technology. This is a multiple technology. And we can use many systems and many methods of coating. So we use all of them and we can do it in one time at the same chamber. That's why this is multidisciplinary and this is a multi-layer in one chamber or multi-disciplines in one chamber. What the world wants to know is how clean tech is ion technology? We don't have acids, we don't have liquids, we don't have any waste, we don't influence anything uh, on the environment, on, on people's health. This is completely clean. So. For a wide range of industries, adionim represents huge added value. Take plastics, for example. From the most advanced industrial components to the simplest household utilities, ion technology has the capacity to change the properties of basic materials and with no negative impact on the environment. The shower head, believe it or not, it's made of plastic. And there goes another industry that can profit hugely from ion technology, aerospace. The first thing that comes to mind concerning ion technology is that it's environmentally friendly, eliminating the need for all the huge tanks we now use to coat aircraft parts. Secondly, it will increase the service life of aircraft parts because the new coatings will be subject to far less friction damage, which results in reduced maintenance and ultimately more marketable aircraft. And that's a major competitive advantage. One of Adionim's most impressive achievements is DLC, a durable diamond-like coating that's resistant to temperatures of up to 800 degrees Celsius. Coat things with this, and you can extend the working life of everything from the moving parts used in machinery to the spare parts used by modern medicine to repair our bodies. The ion technology uh, enables us uh, to uh, implant uh, artificial materials into the human uh, body. It could be devices that are related to orthopedic surgery, like joints, artificial joints, or it could be related to artificial uh, devices that we are dealing with in the heart medicine. For me as a heart surgeon, if I can have a device that will be coated with a special coating that will reduce the complication rate of this device by reducing the clotting, and improving the hemodynamics of this device and improving the durability, it will be a great uh, promise for me and for my patients. So, who else is knocking at Adionim's door? Well, the automotive industry has been quick to grasp the huge potential of ion technology. 
Specifically, its unique ability to improve the properties of the target material. The ion technology really allows us a whole new way of providing much better surface treatments. Using the ion technology, we can form a molecular bond without any exhaust, without any waste. It's green. Is it a pipe dream or is this going to happen? Today we're working on steering gears and knuckles. We can use a carbon coating to create a greatly reduced friction on the moving parts, which makes the parts last a lot longer, allows them to operate a lot freer with a lot less play in the parts. We believe that this is, this is here now. This is, this is technology today. I'm impressed. Here's a technology that's not only good for the planet, it'll also improve your bottom line. Ask anyone in the plastics industry what they think of that, and they'll tell you it's quite an achievement. So, for the sake of the planet, let's hope they don't waste any time knocking on Adionim's door. This is Michael Greenspan reporting from Surigal, Israel, birthplace of the Ion Revolution. Adionim, Ion Tech Green and Clean.